Welcome to the Misfit One Lifestyles with Elizabeth Colon. She will awaken and connect with your Misfit One. Are you tired of the ups and downs in your life? Are you ready to live a healthy lifestyle once and for all? We are talking about all aspects of your life. Being fit is not just physical. It's also your mind and soul. Learn how to take steps in your life to move towards your goals. Elizabeth's goal is for everyone listening to the sound of her voice to get fit. Let's get focused, let's get intentional, and let's transform. Now here's your host, Elizabeth Colon. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Misfit One Lifestyles with your host, Elizabeth Colon, also known as Misfit One. Okay guys, I hope you are ready. T for today's episode because, honey, we just to talk about this black luxury hair products. Y'all heard our guest today is the owner of this beautiful beauty brand. Her name is Sharice Williams. How you doing, girlfriend? I'm good. I'm here in Florida. <laughs> yes, shout out to Florida. That's <laughs> Listen, you are so impressive to me. Um, And for those of you who do not know her or her story, she is a native Jamaican, right? Yes, yes. (laughs) Yes, yes. And she is now in Florida. But I want to talk to you a little bit about how you got to be in the hair industry when you went to this amazing university mm-hmm. <laughs> and you were going to be on Wall Street and, and uh, being an accountant, you know, you were going to do all these amazing things you thought, you know, because you got your bachelor's degree in accounting, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then you ended up doing hair. Yes. <laughs> products tell me about it how we do this how we get there so I believe that hair actually found me you know I really didn't find hair um, I migrated from Jamaica in 2016 to the U.S. at the time when I was here I was more focused on uh, making some money to go back home so at the time I was working as a waitress and a housekeeper you know, however, fast forward to 2018, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm not back home. Yeah. And, you know, that was the year when I actually not really start. Black looks. You know, I had oh, excessive shedding. You, you, you completely went out. You want to start again? You said that's the year uh, and then it was nothing. (laughs) Yes. So in 2018, you know, that was the year I found out I was diagnosed with PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. You know, that's a hormone disorder that affects a lot of women, actually over 30 million women worldwide are affected Mm -hmm. by polycystic ovary syndrome. And one of the adverse effects that it had on me was my hair was constantly shedding. It was brittle. It would not retain moisture, no matter what products that I use. And, you know, it would grow for a short period of time. And then, you know, it starts breaking. So I went to the doctor one day and they actually made me do some hormone tests, you know, to find out what was actually happening with my body. And it was confirmed that it was polycystic ovary syndrome. No, it, that's not really a disease. However, it is just, um, it's just like your hormones are imbalanced, you know? So it was nothing for them to like to say cure, but what they can do is actually provide recommendations that I can implement in my daily diet and routine to alleviate some of the symptoms. And at the time they were telling me not to use a lot of products that had in sulfates and silicones, you know, me working as a waitress and a housekeeper at the time. I mean, I could only afford sulfate and silicone products. <laughs> Now you're taking my whole thing. Yeah, (laughs) you know, like you're telling me now to buy, you know, some of the brands that they were actually recommending. You're telling me to spend thirty dollars on a shampoo, forty dollars. You know, so I actually took the initiative and did my own research. 
Um, you know, I'm from Jamaica, as I said before, we we make a lot of things there for ourselves. You know, we don't really go to the doctor. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's how um, I actually made my first product, which is a Mega Grow Hair Serum. I kind of incorporated some of my roots in that product too, you know, um, Jamaican black castor oil, along with other essential oils and nutrients. And that's how I made my first home-based product. That's a best-selling product to date as well. You know, and at the time I was also in a natural hair group and a PCOS support group on Facebook. And there were a lot of women in that group that had the same issues that I had. You know, and I started using, I became the test subject for my home product. And I realized, oh, hey, this is working. You know, my hair is no longer breaking. It's no longer shedding. And, you know, I pitched it in a group and I said, you guys, you know, I made this. I'm not really selling it. I don't see it as a business, but I could ship you guys some of the products and you can test it out too and see, you know, if it helps with the breaking, the shedding and all that stuff. And lo and behold, like no one really wanted to, um, they didn't really want me to ship the products to them for free. They wanted to buy, you know, so that's how it actually became a business. <laughs> Love that. Yes. How is a million dollar business? A business at a time. But, you know, so I started selling the products in the Facebook natural hair group. Then I realized that outside of the group, there were other, you know, women with same conditions that I have and, you know, that needed a solution for themselves. So I took it outside of Facebook group and went to Instagram. So we created an account on Instagram. You know, my products were on the, the website at the time, no labels on it. And lo and behold, a lady bought my product one night. I won't forget. I think it was December 30th, 2019. At 3.30 a.m. in the morning, that lady went on the website and bought my product with no label. I had to write the instructions on a piece of paper and shipped her the product. I said, miss, I'm a waitress. I'm just getting by. I did not know that you were going to even purchase these products. <laughs> but this is how you use it. <laughs> I love that. Yes. What's so great about then, it? <laughs> yeah, what, what what's so great about that is that you know you you didn't just say, oh, I'm not ready to do this, or oh, I don't have a label, oh, I yeah. don't have this. You was like, okay, let me write it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like I was so ner nervous. I was like, should I give her back her money? But you know, I I, I wrote how she how she should use it. And she came back and made another purchase a week after. And I think it was really my story that, you know, that kind of touched her when she got that paper with the, the product. And fast forward has to how it became now a million dollar business. So I had reached out to a media platform on Instagram. They had quoted me $2,500 at the time to pitch my brand on their platform. I didn't really have the money. So I started saving up my tips towards making that investment because I realized that, okay, in order for customers or for people to reach me, I need to start advertising. You know, um, for some reason, the money couldn't get by beyond $2,000. It's like, that's, you know, and now I started to using the money that I'm saving. <laughs> I got it. I need to buy this stuff. I need to buy more products. Let me ask yes. you this before we get too far on. What is your Instagram? Black Hugs are here products. Uh huh. And how does it spell? B L A Q L U X U R Y hair products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just black was not spelled the same yes. as is B L A Q. B -L -A -Q. Yes. 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 And so when you got to your gold, mm -hmm. how did you, what did you go from there from the 2000? 500 when you hit that 2500 did you just what what would i didn't hit the total i never reached it it go by it didn't go beyond two thousand dollars so i reached back out to them i think about two to three months after and i said hey guys i know that several months ago you had quoted me two thousand five hundred but i really want to pitch my brand on the platform and i only have two thousand dollars but they were happy to work with me and you know they pitched my brand on the platform and within 48 hours the money was doubled and let me tell you too, that $2,000, as I said before, I started using back the money. So I had to put a portion of my rent to make up that $2,000 that I paid them. But my roommate right. didn't know that I was over there gambling the rent. <laughs> right, right. You know, everybody listening have heard this story. We, listen, listen, 
We know what you're talking about. You're like, Lord, this is the only option I have. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was me, Lord. Please let this work. Please. <laughs> Please let this work. Yes. And within 48 hours, the money was doubled. And, you know, I ensured that I have their 2500 for the next time. <laughs> yeah. And, then, you know, like all my little products were gone. I started buying back more ingredients, start making more products at home. And within six months, we had it over 50,000 orders. And within... I think it was almost within eight months, we have done almost a million in sales. Within eight months, yes. Wow. It went beyond just, you know, advertising on the platform to now we're growing organically because we had a high customer um, repeat rate. They were telling other people about the products. So that is how we actually grew. You know, within a year, we did over a million in sales. Wow, that is so phenomenal. Are you still waitressing? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she is like, I'm, I'm good now. I'm good. I got other things to do. I have to work on yes. <laughs> yes. Well, let me, let, let's talk about this and break it down for, for people who are listening. Listen, the faith that it took for her Mm -hmm. to say, okay, I, I have to do something because my hair is okay. I just want to talk to the people right now who've been broke. You know, yes. I'm just talking about to the broke girls. Now, if y'all been them girls who grew up all their life getting their hair done and somebody doing it, this section is not for you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the people who we have to make our own concoctions in yes. our <laughs> you know and and honey i have been there i make my own concoctions but here's what was so great about your story is that you used it for yourself because you were unable to purchase yes. what they what was right mm -hmm. for your syndrome yes mm -hmm. so when you were going through through your syndrome, the POS, and you couldn't afford the yeah. the the products that they were suggesting. When you looked at that moment and said, let me just put something together and start researching that, mm -hmm. how did you go about that? What was the first kind of steps you went through? Well, that's a great question. Um, initially, I... I didn't even know what PCOS was. So when the doctor told me I was searching what that is and how to approach it. So as mentioned before, he was recommending, you know, like products without sulfates and silicones at the time, what he was recommending, I couldn't afford to, to, to purchase it. So, you know, I went on Google and I started tapping in like ingredients that are great for persons with PCOS, you know, like products that are good for people with PCOS. So that is how I actually start piecing it together. And also from persons, you know, that had, um, that similar symptoms, but at the same time, they helped to alleviate their symptoms. Like I started reaching out to people like those, what did you do? How did you, you know, get this done? And as I said before, being from Jamaica, we don't really go to the doctor. So <laughs> one, <laughs> you know, like food is our medicine there. So like when, when I was in Jamaica, if your hair is not growing, they always said you use Jamaican black castor oil to grow your hair. So that was one of our key ingredients in the products, you know, and that is also a part of my roots too. So that's my, that's what I meant when I said a part of my roots is also in the production of my products. So the Jamaican black castor oil, you know, I incorporated it into the product as well. Right. So when you, when you stepped out on faith and you had this, just, it was not even like you said, it was a vision hair found you, right? Mm -hmm. It was he was like, one day I'm going to be like killing in these streets. I'm going to make all these products and I'm going to be doing this. Oh. Yeah. You was like, listen, I just need to take care of my head. Mm -hmm. And and you did that. So that's great, which is so crazy because this is my whole platform 
is mm -hmm. to live fit, right? Focus yeah. plus intention equals transformation. Yeah. And that is literally what you did. You have totally transformed the game. So kudos to you for doing that. Now let's talk about some of your products with people out here who are listening. Um, share with us some of your products and what we could expect from them. Yes, so our products, currently the collection that we have is geared towards growth and strengthening. However, we do plan on coming out with other collections because people do have other hair concerns besides growth, besides just growth, you know? Like some people, their hair is moisture depleted, so they would like a collection for um, retaining moisture. You have persons, you know, that they have dandruff, so we will come out with a collection, you know, that's geared towards the danger of control. But the current products that we have right now, like if you're really looking for products that can strengthen your hair, um, the Sage and Lychee collection is best recommended. It's infused with biotin. Um, we have seven pieces of products in that collection that can take your hair from wash to style. So it provides you with a complete um, hair regimen routine and it's affordable too. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, yes, a part of us too. Yes, because that was, you know, initially when I was looking for products for myself, I wasn't able to afford them. So I make my products affordable to my community. So they're very, like, all of them are under $10, very affordable products. <laughs> very, very good to know because that is important. Um, yes. That's just like how I came up with my own skincare line is because mm -hmm. I always make my own skincare because I couldn't afford it. I just couldn't with a mother of three kids. And, yes. you know, there's no way I could say I'm going to spend sixty dollars on a serum. Girl, you out your mind. Sure. You know, <laughs> it was just no. not happening. That was like uh uh, no. So mm -hmm. you came up with your products and it was all about hair growth and it was all about um, helping you retain your length. Yes. Did you ever think of like, um, how would it affect people uh, lives? You know, cause it has to be a scary and hard. my hair fell out one time girl mm -hmm. that was the worst part of my I was crying so hard because I did a perm and they told mm -hmm. me not to and I did it anyway and I was completely bald like <laughs> in the top of my <laughs> <laughs> so, so have you talked to people who have used your product and seen the growth from it what does that look like on the other side receiving that from others Yes. So um, even on our website that like, we have over 2,000, almost 2,500 five-star reviews on the website, you know, a lot of persons have used the products, you know, it has improved the quality of their hair. Like some person might have uh, like thinning edges, like what we call traction alopecia, thinning edges, um, bald spots, you know, like they purchase the product for different reasons. Some might even have that just want to add volume to their hair. So we praise our products because we know that they are made with the best um, ingredients, you know, with, they're free from sulfates and silicones, which strips their hair of its natural oils and lead to breakage if used excessively or products are not formulated with those ingredients. And as mentioned before, like we have a high customer repeat rate and we have a lot of um, reviews of course you can't please everyone but at the same time i comfortably know that we put out the best and you know we're very satisfied with what we have done so far yeah because i i have that's what i'm saying it has to be rewarding mm -hmm. to see somebody who was suffering from hair loss or bald mm -hmm. spot or whatever to actually see that wow yes. you know because our hair is our crown honey like mm -hmm. I don't care how cute you think you are yes. uh your hair <laughs> not right I don't care really am I not lying I don't care how fly you are you can have on the baddest sure. outfit but if you don't feel your hair is right oh it's gonna be yes. a bad night it's gonna be a bad night <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so tell the people it you know at home let's give them some ways that they can um first of all look look you up let's go again tell them where you can find you 
Yes, we're on all platforms, Pinterest, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Black Clubs You Hear Hair Products. So that is our handle for all platforms. Black, B-L-A-Q, not B-L-A-C-K. It was a play on words. <laughs> but it's B -L -A -Q. <laughs> Luxury Hair Products. And our website is www.blackluxuryhair.com. We're also on Amazon as well. So if y'all want to skip shipping fees and you want that two-day prime delivery service, we're on Amazon. And if you don't even want to go to Amazon, we're also in thousands of beauty supply stores across the, the, the country. So we are accessible wherever you are, whether digitally or in your brick or mortar stores. That's what I'm talking about. I am so <laughs> proud of you. Let's talk about hair, though. Um, and, and so to, to see when I'm looking in a mirror or my hair is feeling brittle or whatever what are some of the things that you say wait a minute maybe you should um reach out to you and, and see maybe if these products will work what do you who's your targeted market on your products right now so our targeted audience are you know women we're actually geared towards um natural hair woman um between the ages of 18 to 40 not saying beyond 40 can't use the products but that's just for some reason that's the most of the people that purchase our products they're within that age group <laughs> ah, that's pretty funny because it i'm 50, i'm 51 and i'm like uh i would still care if my hair was falling out like i'm still looking i'm like let me get on and get it all together yeah but yes but the thing is, it's not, as I said before, it's not really just hair hair loss. You know, there are some people too that are just looking for healthier options for their hair. There we go. And and that's what I wanted you to get at is, is yes. people who want their hair to be healthier. Yes. Yes. As I said, our products are not formulated with parabens, sulfate, silicones. So for persons that are health conscious as well, they can look into those products at an affordable cost. So that is also the marketing message we want to get out there too. Our products are healthy and affordable. You know, I don't really want, there's a stigma that if it's healthy, it is expensive. No, <laughs> it has to be expensive. We're healthy, but at the same time, affordable. And we, you know, we do very good sales as well on our products too. So we have that Black Friday coming up and we also have, you know, our anniversary sales as well. So even if you're saving on the $10, we still do sales two times per year. So our products, they're healthy, they're affordable, and that is just how we want to keep it. Love it, love it. <laughs> Because, you know, we got, it's a lot of naturals out there, you know, um, and natural hair is so crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. it has a, a life of its own. It, it does what it wants to do. I, I'm telling you, though, it's um, it's a privilege and really just yes. because you have started with your own struggles and I wanted mm -hmm. you to come on and actually really talk about that because a lot of times people are so stuck into what their problems are that they don't realize that they can also help others. True, true. You know, because that, is that what you went into it thinking? Um, No, exactly. it's not. Yeah, no, because as I, as I said, you know, I was in a support group. So we, when I found out that I had PCOS, I joined like these groups, you know, to see what it's really all about and what are the challenges that some of these other women were actually experiencing. So when I started using my products and, I, you know, I realized that, okay, my hair is not shedding as much as it was before until it stopped altogether. I realized that this could be something that can help another woman just like myself. So as I said, I pitched it in the group saying we, I can ship it to you, but they wanted to purchase it from me. They didn't want me to just send it to them for free. That That's awesome. You know, the bottom line is, is when you are, how I see it is mm -hmm. that you are willing to share. The more you give, the more we get. You get. Mm -hmm. when we do things in a unselfish, unbiased way. God returns it back to us tenfold. So uh, yeah. that that's so awesome. Let me ask you this. I know you all about healthy hair and honey, her hair is gorgeous. 
It's it's just full. Your hair it looks good. I gotta give me some of that. I gotta give me some. Um, <laughs> so let me let let me ask you: How do you take care of you? What does your health practice look like and your self care? So those two different things. Okay, so initially I was burnt out. Like first year and two, or two, I was burnt out. Then I realized that you know that's not healthy because you need to have yourself balanced in order to push through and to do this. So what I started doing is bi-weekly. And you know, I think it's, I think I'm due as well to get my nails done. <laughs> yes. To get my nails done, you know, I put it on my calendar, you know, to have my facial. I just um, incorporated a gym routine as well. So I'm making time for myself. You know, yes, I started making time for myself. Like I was really burnt out. I was all about work, 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 work. But it gets you nowhere. It gets you nowhere. And, you know, when you access, you do that excessively, it also takes away the fun from what you're doing as well. And, you know, you don't enjoy the fruits of your labor. So I have decided to set aside some time for myself monthly. I was like, it doesn't matter what my schedule looks like. I'm going to have these time for myself. So self-care is very, very important as an entrepreneur. It keeps you balanced. It keeps you focused and prepared for your next venture. <laughs> right. Because burnt out, burnout is real. Burnout yes. very real. And a lot of times you don't even know you burnt out, which is the worst time. It, yeah. That's the worst feeling of all. It's like, you like, no, nah, I'm just got to keep going. I got to keep mm -hmm. going. It's like, stop, baby, just one moment. So I really appreciate you sharing that because they don't listen to me. I don't listen to me when I say it. Mm -hmm. so they don't listen to <laughs> They don't listen to you. Again, tell us, how can we get your products? BlackLuxuryHair.com or follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest at Black Luxury Hair Products. We're also on Amazon and we're in thousands of local beauty supply stores across the U.S. <laughs> um, all right. Well, before I wrap it up again, I want to thank you so much for coming on today. I really thank you. <laughs> and uh, do you have any words of wisdom you want to drop on the people today? Yes. So, you know, like for the next girl like myself or any other upcoming entrepreneur, that this is always my favorite advice to give, you know, to make sure that you find your passion, do what you love, whatever business you're starting, make sure it's something that you truly love and enjoy, as this will help you stay motivated and committed to your goals. You know, if you're not doing something that you love, you are going to fall some way along the line because it is not a rainbow throughout the process <laughs> it's not you know there are going to be times where you feel like you need to throw in the towel or you know just give up you got for example a few weeks ago we got some pallets like they were damaged these were products that were supposed to be um shipped out to our um beauty supply distributors and you know like those are going to be times during your entrepreneurship journey but you just has to brace yourself and you say you know what this is something i really love doing and you're just going to push through to get to your goal. <laughs> I love that. That's that's a great, great piece of advice because you're right. It's not always rainbows. And so it is important to love what you do because it's an old saying that they say, if you love what you do, you never work another day, right? Or something like that. Isn't that that old saying? And, that's true. And I, I love it. I love it. That's true. And if it's just all about the money as well, it's not going to work either. <laughs> It, no. is, it is it is not mm -hmm. and it all goes back to love what you do because when you love what you do the money will find you as well so <laughs> and you and listen if she is the one who could tell you because this was not what she was reaching for oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes your passion just finds you no, and, but you, but you notice know, so you know, most times the things that we actually plan for never normally works the way that we want it to, because I had planned to become an accountant. That's what I was, I was studying in university, you know, to become an accountant. But you see, now my life took a whole different path. <laughs> and you're transforming so many different women's uh, worlds. Their lives are changing because of how your path 
changed. changed. And so thank you again. I really, I really appreciate all of this. It's amazing. <laughs> Hey guys, listen, it's your girl, Elizabeth Colon. Until next week, live fit. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Misfit One Lifestyles. But guess what, you guys? I have a great announcement. Escape from the stress of everyday life and find true bliss with our all new program. Da, 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 da. Blissful Escape. Starting in January, this program is designed to transport you to a world of mental repose and calm. Join us as we explore various techniques and practices to help you unwind and navigate your stress. Don't let the busyness of life consume you. Take a break and embark on a journey toward a more harmonious and fulfilled existence. Make 2024 the year you prioritize self-care and discover the transformative power of well-being. Spaces are limited, so don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to create a sanctuary within your busy life. Register now for Blissful Escape. It starts January. Make this the time to choose you. Go to MisfitOne.com backslash blissful dash escape. Make sure you are taken care of. Remember, live fit. <laughs>